You ever saw a guy and he just seemed to have it all together and you look at him and you feel like, man, I want that. It seemed like every female he mess with, every female he date is just obsessed with him, bro. And, and somewhere along your blue pill journey, somewhere along you trying to figure it all out. You, you secretly in the back of your head wish that you could get that, bro. You wish for it. You want it. You want to know that feeling of just having women obsessed with you. Well, I'm going to teach you how to get women obsessed with you today. I'm going to teach you what the ingredients is to have women obsessed with you. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to answer a subscriber question called, it's how to convert your friends to the red pill. So stay tuned all the way to the end. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Let's get straight to it, bro. So how do you get a woman obsessed with you? Like obsession. How do you create obsession in a woman, bro? First off, you got to understand addiction, bro. You got to create addiction in a woman. Now, let me, let me just say this. Addiction and obsession is not the same things, bro. You could be addicted to something, but not necessarily obsessed with it. Like, you could be addicted to smoking cigarettes, but not necessarily obsessed with cigarettes, bro. But you can't be obsessed with something without being addicted to it. To be obsessed with something means you cannot let something go. And that's the definition of addiction, right? Right. So, in order to understand obsession, you got to understand addiction. What is addiction, bro? Think about it. Addiction is something... That gives you a feeling that you do not want to let go. A feeling that you love that when it's absent, you crave for it, right? This is why we make females chase our validation, bro. This is why they have to chase your validation, bro. This is why it's important to understand how to create the contact matrix. Meaning... As your contact, as you contact her increase, hers is going to decrease. As hers increase, yours is going to decrease. That's called the contact matrix, bro. You want the contact matrix to always be her pursuing more than you are, bro. She's reaching out to you more than you are reaching out to her. But how do you create obsession, bro? It starts with when she's around you. Now, this this a little bit of advanced game for my for my red pill guys who understand it, bro. This is a little bit of advanced game. So let's say you already dealing with the woman. You already got the girl. You already got on the string or whatever. Y'all already had sex, etc. This is how you create obsession. When she's with you, bro, you always, always, always want to give her the best feelings. You want to make a laugh. You want to have a good time with her. You want to do things that y'all like to do together. Why is that so important, bro? A lot of guys, they tell you, oh, you can't validate her, blah, blah, blah. So they're like, they don't understand that you can't always treat a woman like a fucking dickhead, bro. You can't do that. That It, it don't work like that. The whole purpose is when she's with you, she has great feelings, bro. You want to create great feelings up inside of her. Let's go back to the definition of addiction. It gives you a feeling that you don't want to let go. So you giving her these feelings that she don't want to let go, right? Right. Or at least I am. I know I am, bro. I don't know about you because you blue pill. And you probably don't know how to give a woman these feelings, bro. That's why you on, That's why you learning this shit in the first place. But that's another story for another day. But anyway, you giving her these feelings that she don't want to let go. These great feelings. So when she with you, she laughing, she smiling. She forgetting about the rest of the world. You, she always having fun with you. You, you smashing so good that, you know, she going to keep coming back for more. Stuff like that, right? So when she's away from you, you going ghost. That's always going to make her wonder, bro. So always in the back of her head, it's going to be several things happening. Is he with somebody else? Is, is he, you know, do he still like me? Like, do he care about me? Or, or she gonna be thinking, man, I had so much fun with him. I this, I that. You know, you know what I mean? 
those thoughts gonna be racing through her head. Those are the insecure thoughts you want going through her head, bro. Them the thoughts you want. Why? Because those are the thoughts that create obsession with you. The more she thinking about you, the more you taking up her mental space when you not around. The more she not around you, bro, the more she's going to crave to be around you. Because when she is around you, you give her those dope feelings. That's the not validating her, bro. When she reach out to you, am I pretty? All of that stuff. You ain't necessarily telling her she's pretty. But all your actions say she is. Your words don't necessarily say that. So now you creating this back and forth, this roller coaster that she getting addicted to. She getting addicted to the roller coaster, addicted to the feelings you give her. Addiction. And then now you you her love interest, right? So now that's creating an obsession. That's how you get women obsessed with you, bro. You ever heard that phrase? Distance makes the heart grow fonder. So when you go ghost on her like that, after giving her such good feelings, bro, you not contacting her right afterwards. Y'all have a good night. You don't contact her later, bro. You you don't reach out to her, bro, to until she reach out to you. After y'all have a great date and y'all sleep together, you don't reach out to her until she reach out to you because you creating those feelings of, damn, did he just one night stand me and just not call back? Did he just smash and never come back? You feel me? So keeping that in mind, keep in mind, like when she with you, you always want to send her through a roller coaster of emotions, bro. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet because it is short. It's so simple. You don't want to overcomplicate it. You always want to give her a roller coaster of emotions when she with you. And then when she away from you, you always want to be distant. Because this is what fills up mental space in her head and makes her think about you nonstop. Thinking about you nonstop makes her obsessed with finding the answers to the questions that she naturally fucking get in her head, bro. And when she want those answers, she going to look to you for those answers, bro. For that reassurance. For all of that. And when you don't necessarily give her that reassurance, but you make her feel those good feelings again, you just creating this addiction. It's like smoking a cigarette, bro. Nicotine give you good feeling. I don't smoke grass, but I know about it. Nicotine give you that good, calm feeling. It give you the good, calm feeling that you want to continue to have. But when you're not smoking, when you get antsy, you get, uh, you get a little riled up. You need one. You need the cigarette. That's why it's so hard to quit. Because they become addicted to that calm feeling. Just like she become addicted to the type of feelings you give her when you around. So when you not around, it makes her want to be around you more. Because she want those feelings again. She want to feel that again. That's how you create obsession with women, bro. That's how. Now, I had a subscriber question or whatever. Um, and... He one of my guys. Shout out. Shout out. He's super supportive on the channel. Super shout out. Um, he want to know how to convert your friends to the red pill, bro. And the most simple way I could tell you, tell you that is slowly introduce them to it. Ask them questions just like you would do a woman. Ask them questions about trying to see where they head at as far as this stuff goes. But... Also understand that some guys just ain't going to want to get this. Society has, has constrained their mind so fucking hard, bro. So hard that they just don't want to get this. They want to live in a blue pill fairy tale society. So some friends you just can't convert, bro. You have to understand some friends you just not going to be able to convert. But some of them, they don't know about this. So you introduce them to it. Yo, bro, check it out. I found some cold stuff. Um, I found Caden Alpha Nerd channel. And he just, you know, he speak on women. And he speak like some stuff that's like really the truth, bro. That's really the truth about women. I want you to check it out and tell me what you feel about it. I want you to, I want you to, uh, it's called, like, I want you to look at his videos on being red pill. I want you to just check it out. Tell me what you think about it. That's how you convert friends to the red pill. Because if they gonna understand, if they want to understand, if they get curious about it, if they want to know more, they're gonna convert themselves to the red pill, bro. 
If they, if they, nah, that's some bullshit. I don't want to do that. I want to live, like, they want to live in a blue pill driven world, bro. It's just easier for some people to take that. It's just easier for some people to rationalize things like that. And sadly, it's got to be some beta blue pill ass bitches in the world in order for us alphas to thrive, bro. It's just how it works. You know what I mean? It's got to be betas in order for it to be alphas. It's got to be blue pill simps in order for it to be red pill fucking champs. So that's how you convert people to the red pill, bro. Just ask questions. Just have conversations. Just be direct. Just see where his head at. You know, kind of steer him in the right direction. See if you could offer him advice on their situations. See if you could, you could offer them truth on their situations based on the truth you get from over here, bro. That being said, it's your boy, Kaden. Um... I got more coming, bro. I got I got some heat coming. So if you're not subscribed, bro, subscribe. Otherwise, you missing out. Not on me. You fucking missing out. Um, hit that like button. I need you to smash that like button. You already know. Um, yeah, bro. Kaden, I'm out this bitch.